got the main eye. We're set up to the north. 10-4. We got the south and a partial of the alley. If anyone goes mobile from the house, we're in position for a takeaway. Owen Rusick, move closer, see if there's any movement in the house. 10-4. Hold up, we got company. Who's this joke? Charlie 5021, emergency. What? He's gonna bleed out. We gotta put pressure on the wound. And shot fired by police. Fender down. Clean clothes officers on scene. All right, all right. In here! Cop killers. Hey, look at this. What do you got? Insulin. Someone here was a diabetic? Or not. Is there a black market for this stuff? None that I've heard of. You know what? It's a good place to hide a bullet, though. Nice work. This is Edward Jelko, the deceased street-level dealer. This is Peter Thomas Banfield, the offender, currently baking in a coma over at County. Jelko probably thought, like we did, that Banfield was sitting on something big, went over there to rip him off. These are M995s. Teflon tip, Kevlar penetrating rounds. Ballistics has them linked to several recent homicides. And we found a hundred of these at the scene. It's for type R insulin, which is a Canadian designation. And with any luck, our little surprise visit got the gun runners scrambling, which means they're gonna make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Okay? Eyes open. This is definitely our sales rep, George Malenko, 41. He's been with Markham Medical for 17 years. No record, fully bonded, has border clearance. This guy's not your typical smuggler. You notice the cup? Lipstick on the lid. These are what we're looking for, C7s. What? Variant used by the Canadian Army. An armory up there was robbed. 3,000 rounds of ammo and 50 C7s were stolen. Right, pick a mark for spares down here. The victim's wife drove down with him. All and Lindsay are bringing her in. Good. Velocity of these things? Forensics trace one round that went through the TV, through the wall, ended up halfway through the engine block of an ice cream truck parked across the street. Seven homicides and counting. Our widow's lying. Her cell phone provider said she was never at Bloomingdale's. She spent the afternoon up in Edgewater. We're gonna get real honest real quick. I was visiting a friend, an ex-boyfriend. If you're gonna lie, put some effort into it for me. Call him, he'll tell you. Name and number. I want you to take me through your entire day. Every stop you made, every person you talked to, everything you did. I already told you. Tell me again. We were on the road by 4.30. Didn't stop till we crossed the border, just past Ann Arbor. Got some coffee, some gas, used the washroom. George got a phone call from our nephew. Who's the nephew? He lives here. He likes to meet up with George. 
Oh God, Mikey doesn't know. Does Mikey have a last name? Michael Gans lives in East Garfield Park, has a record, robbery, possession, runs with a small crew. Claire's ex-boyfriend checks out, right down to the 500 bucks. Got a ping on Gans's phone. Pull all the numbers he's called in the last 24 hours. Play of the week, Jen, right here. All the calls were to the same number, a cell phone registered to a Lucky M pawn and loan in Gage Park. Lucky M, I know that ding dong. We'll go talk to him. Let's keep our heads down. So Mikey's packing heavy stuff. Hey. Did you all fresh like a daisy? Yeah, what a wank. Hey, listen, any uh, word on the guy I dropped? Yeah, still in the ICU. All right. Hey, what'd your counselor say? Oh, that I'm coping well with the trauma, but I think she was talking about working with you. You're in the van. Wait, why can't I do the Bible? Because Antonio called shotgun before you did. You gotta be. Al, how long is this gonna go on for? I'm fine. Christmas. What? Christmas is the takedown word. Hey. Reservations all set at Carmine's for when he's out. They gave us the back room, so who do you want me to invite? Oh, let's keep it small, just the three of us. Yeah? I don't think he should be around his old friends just yet. Okay. That's our boy, Gans. Milner says you're hunting for hardware. If they're the quality Milner said they are, we'll take most of them off your hands. I'll take you to it. Get in. Oh, come on. The only one of you with the money. Forget it. Fine with me. Uh, hey, whoa, 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 wait, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. No. All right. He's a cupcake. Go mobile. What's your name? What do you care? We're heading north. We're just a, a crew. Well, you'll meet them soon enough. What's wrong? We've lost his audio and his tracking beat. We're heading to my cook. Why do you keep calling out directions? I'm in a car with some guy I never met. No. He's taking me to an undisclosed location. No. I'm just thinking out loud. Pull over. Give me your phone. I'm not wired. Do it. Open the door and you die. This is so, so dumb. Okay. I want you to look at the mile marker and make a note. Why is that? Once the deal is done, you're gonna bring me back here so I can look for that phone. How closely can you track him, Jim? Six meters. Yards. Whatever. Very large. I left the other half with my associate. You really think I'll come alone with all the cash? Well, let's see the damn guns.
I swear to God. Put it down! Get on the ground, put your palms in the air. Get out! Oh. Burgess, Atwaters, you got two white male offenders moving southwest of the building towards you. Radio was in my belt buckle, slick. Hmm. Just so when you're in uh, Jen Pop telling the story, you get your details straight. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Hey, hey, come here. That guy killed me. I tell you, it was a cupcake.